How to invest in tax liens and tax deed properties. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how tax lien certificates on properties and tax deeds on properties work. You're gonna learn exactly why they're available, what makes them a superior lien to all other liens and encumbrances, and the most important thing, how to make a ton of money on this. The county needs this money, let's go to the rescue and help them out. I've got a little bonus for you, okay? Once we get through all of this, I've got a little gift for you, so hang on to the very end. I'm gonna make sure you do it. Before we do that though, I want you to understand how this works and how you and your family are gonna profit from this. If there's somebody you know that should be listening to this information, two things you need to do. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, hit that share button. Click that share, send it off to somebody else, and go, dude, you gotta listen to this. Or if it's a dudette, say dudette. You gotta listen to this, okay, have some fun. A tax lien and a tax deeds are two different sides of the same coin. A tax lien certificate is a lien that the county puts on a property for delinquent property taxes. The property owner has to be one year delinquent and when they are one year delinquent on the property, the county can put a property tax lien on the property and offer those up for the public. At the public, they say, hey, here's a tax lien certificate. You and I can put up the money for those delinquent taxes. Now, let me stop. You are not buying somebody's property. Let me repeat that. You're not buying somebody's property. In fact, I am not dealing with the property owner. I'm dealing with the county. The property owner probably doesn't even know this is going on. The county is gonna be your workhorse. They need this money. Schools, roads, fire department, police department, all the infrastructure of the county. So the county is really saying, we need this money, we have a lien on this property, we'll go ahead and take your money, and now when that property owner comes down in to pay off these taxes, we'll see that you're the lien holder of record and we'll issue you a check for your full investment, okay, plus an interest rate. Please write this down. That interest rate will be 16%, 18%, 25%, even as high as 36% on your money with virtually no risk. Why? Because these are state mandated returns. Really? Yeah, state mandated. They say this is 16%, it's 18. Nothing, doesn't matter what happens in the stock market, the bond market, the foreign markets. Everything is locked in. Oh, well, that sounds great, but what if they don't pay? Great question. So the second phase of this is they got a grace period or a redemption period. This is a time period on when the property owner has to pay the property taxes off. So for this scenario, we'll say the interest rate is say 18% with a two year redemption period. That means if the property owner does not come in within the two year period of time, it's no big deal. You simply call your workhorse, the county, say property owners failed to pay off the property taxes. I am the lien holder of record and I would like to go ahead and exercise my right to, you guessed this right, foreclosing the property, okay? Once you start the foreclosure in the property, everybody that's got a financial interest in that property, including the banks, including the seconds, including Aunt Martha, who has a lien on this property, everybody gets notified and say, hey, if somebody doesn't come in and satisfy these delinquent taxes, plus the 18% to the county, then this person will get your property and we will eliminate any liens that you have or any rights of monies that's owed because of this property and take the property away and give it to that person for just the back taxes. <gasps> yep, that's right. Okay, so you will end up owning this property free and clear of all liens and encumbrance for a couple of years of back taxes. Is that a great deal? Yeah, but let's get real. I don't think you tuned in here today to figure out how to buy quarter million dollar properties for a couple of years in back taxes. Let's back up a little bit. Put yourself in the position of the property owner. Don't you think that some way, somehow, they're gonna figure out a way to pay off these property taxes? Of course, they got two years. But if they do, they come into the county, pay off the taxes, plus the 18%. The county sees that you're the lien holder of record, and they cut you a check within five to 10 business days for the full investment you had plus 18%. Boo hoo. So what I'm trying to point out in this video is your downside is you get 
your money back plus the interest rate. The upside is you get the property free and clear. I don't know about you, but that's a pretty good real estate deal. Now, let's talk about the bank. Let's talk about the mortgage. Let's talk about IRS. Let's talk about Aunt Martha. Let's talk about liens on this property. They don't go, oh darn, I lost my property or lien against this property. They know about these. There's no mystery meat here. In order for me to foreclose on this property due to delinquent property taxes, I would have to, I can't just steal the property. I have to notify everybody that's got a financial interest. That would include Bank of America. That would include Aunt Martha. That would include a second whomever, it doesn't matter, the county or whoever your workhorse is in this situation, sends out a certified letter and they've got 60 days, 90, whatever the jurisdiction says, to come in and satisfy the delinquent taxes plus the interest rate to the county. When they do that, you get your money back. Now, you're not sitting there going, no, I wanted the property. No, you got 18%. The banks aren't really afraid of these. They know that somebody, but I, I want to make sure that there's no gray area. I don't want to you think there's a chance. It doesn't matter who the lien holder on the property is, whether it's a mortgage, the IRS, or Aunt Martha. If you buy a tax lien on the property and somebody fails to pay the property taxes on it within the prescribed amount of time, in this situation, two years, and you notify these people that somebody's gotta pay this, and they don't within that 60-day window during foreclosure, you will end up with this property and you will own it free and clear of all liens and encumbrances. Period, end of story. I don't care who the bank is, IRS, or doesn't matter. That is a phenomenal situation. Now, those of you watching saying, okay, wait a second. I wanna get the interest rate. I don't wanna get the property. I'll show you how to do that. And some of you invariably are saying, I want the property, how do I do that? The way it works in some states is they say, once it's been delinquent one year, we're gonna offer it for sale. Some states, about half of them out there, don't hold my feet to the fire, it's a little less, we will say, no, nope, we're not gonna sell it after one year. We're just gonna go with it. Two years, no, nope. three years, no, nope. four years, and eh. we're gonna go ahead and just sell the property for the amount of back taxes they owe. Now they owe years of back taxes on this, so we're gonna go ahead. They send out notifications to everybody, it goes to a sale, and at that deed sale, I go in there and say, I will take it for, and it's gonna be a lot more money because they owe years of back taxes, say $10,000. So I will take it for $10,000. And somebody says, oh yeah, I'll take it for 12. I say 13, 15, 18, 20, 25, 26, 30, sold for $30,000. I go, yes. So I get a tax deed for $30,000. Maybe the property is worth $200,000, well, we're making it up. You know, right then, I pay the county their, their 20, $30,000, whatever I said. They hand me a tax deed. Then and only then can I start to clean the title up. Can't really get rid of all these liens until it's gone to sale and they've had notification. Now that doesn't mean during the process they go, oh gosh, I forgot about, nope. They already had their window. All I'm doing after the sale is getting the title ready for a clean sale so that when a title company comes and pulls the information out and says, yep, Sean owns that property, he has the right to sell it, and there are no other liens and encumbrances on the property. Ooh, 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 I'm excited, right? So as you can see, there are several phases to this. Sometimes you can go to a tax deed sale and nobody buys the property and you can buy it from inventory. Sometimes you go to a tax deed sale and you buy it and they say, you gotta wait six months before you can start the foreclosure process. Maybe you gotta wait a year. There's all sorts of scenarios. But if they come in during that year, it's a 25% penalty, okay, every six months. I mean, there could be all sorts of scenarios. There are so many ways to make money. The best way to make money on this is with a free mini course that I just put out on this. This is gonna walk you through A to Z on tax liens and tax deeds. All you have to do is click the link down below and I will send it out to you for free. It's higginsmethod.com. Everything you need to know to do a deal right now and immediately is inside that course. This is Sean Higgins saying God bless and good luck.